I am the engineer who loves to share all things in everywhere at all time and with everyone. In today's video, I would like to share with you the tips to prepare for long-term travel in Vietnam. As a matter of fact, since Vietnam, Thailand, and Cambodia are so much alike, especially in the area of economy, you can apply most of the same tips in all three countries. I will organize the tips mostly at a high level in three areas. One, financial preparation. Two, housing and transportation. And lastly, technologies. As of 2022, Vietnam GDP per capita is range between 2,000 to 3,000 USD depending on your source of information. The median income of 2,500 USD per year or 209 USD per month is a good average approximation. You do not want to stay in Vietnam long term if you can only budget 209 USD per month. The harsh economic reality experiences by the millions of Vietnamese will eventually catch up with you and it will get ugly very quickly. A minimal and sensible budget for long-term traveling here in Vietnam is 1,000 USD per month or five times the general population GDP per capita. Anything less than this suggested monthly budget will eventually get you in financial trouble in a foreign land far away from home. Vietnamese are very charitable people. However, kindness will be very limited where the country median income is less than 209 USD per month. You can safely allocate the suggested budget as follow for all major cities in Vietnam. 25% for housing, 25% for foods, 25% for transportations and entertainments, and the remaining 25% is for the unexpected. As said, you should be able to find a decent housing in all the major cities in Vietnam worth 25% of the planned budget or 250 USD per month. Anything more will be either one or both of the followings. One, your personal needs require a higher standard of housing. Two, and or you are paying more than a market price. As far as transportation, Grab has started its operation in Vietnam in 2014. You can reasonably traverse all major cities with its taxi services. However, long term, taxi services will be a transportation expense that most long term travelers of the Southeast Asia region will try to minimize. Most will switch over to motorbike and join the local population. Vietnam transportation laws require all motorists 
with bike larger than 50cc to have and carry a license when operate their motorbikes without going to the details of the convoluted process that requires funny money for acquiring the motorbike license here in Vietnam. Most locals are willing to show up 2 million to 3 million Vietnam dong or 85 to 128 USD for the speedy service through the red tape. As foreigners, it will cost you and I somewhere in the upper amount of this range. Anything more, you are paying more than the market price. I have seen few DIY foreigners at the DMV in Ho Chi Minh City and I have nothing but respect for their dedication and determination to do it themselves without the help of the middleman. If you have the time, the DIY option is very much a possibility. Once you have your Vietnam driver license, you will need a used motorbike in the range of 200 to 500 USD. In the technology section of the video, I will give you a local website to help you determine the market price for many essentials the locals are buying and selling on the markets. We started our international travel endeavor as a couple eight years ago and I am grateful for the technologies in the areas of online services and navigation. Without these technologies, long-term international travel adventures would have so much more dramas than necessary. We are not ziplining through the experiences as we were in our twenties. It is time to slow down and smell the flowers. Agoda.com is the online service we use for all our short-term stays, one week or less. In most cases, seven days are enough for us to knock on the doors to find long-term accommodations in interesting places. Google Map and Maps Me are our choices of navigated technologies. Most of you from the West should intimately know Google Map, so I don't need to go into details. Maps Me is an offline navigation tool that will get you out of the difficult situations when there is no cell phone signal. We used so much of Map Me in the early days of travel because of language barriers and we could not get the appropriate local scene for data coverage in a timely manner. Grab is the king of online services from taxi to food deliveries to your door in all Southeast Asia. You must familiar yourself with this app. Finally, Jiaotok.com is the Vietnamese default everyday online market for bargaining, selling, and buying of all essentials, including your future motorbike here in Vietnam. This is a good website for you to determine the local market price before paying or buying of anything here in Vietnam. Good luck and enjoy your stay here in Vietnam.